Caleb Adams. I'm Caleb Epsida. And today I want to introduce Caleb. Uh, Caleb is, Caleb is on, he started the Superior Man Project and today we're going to introduce him and what he's done so far. He's got two weeks into his diet as of right now, but we started three weeks ago. We waited a week to implement his diet and this is not a scripted video. It's 100% transparent and just what it, what it is. Um, so Caleb, what have you experienced since day one to now on internally through starting the Superior Man Project? Uh, I want to say I gained a little more confidence in mm -hmm. what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I feel that I'm a little more focused in at least my diet okay. and being able to see like the workouts that you provide mm -hmm. helps me out a lot. Okay. The workouts what have you noticed about the diet itself so it's the diet's helping you be focused what is your feedback on the diet like is it super challenging or just what have you noticed what have you noticed about the diet um a little bit challenging to get used to eating like the same thing every day mm -hmm. but uh once you just think of it as fuel for your body and how it's going to help you along the like down the line mm -hmm. i can get through it what what are you missing like like, in other words, you say the challenge was eating the same thing every day. Um, what do you, we do in some free free meals, like some cheat meals, because you're wearing what's called pre-season, which is the, it's not a hardcore diet yet, right? Um, what what do you feel like? You felt like you would eat whatever you wanted, or what what, what was that like, or what? Before the, this diet, were you, you were eating whatever you wanted, or what? Yeah, I would eat like freaking poke bowls like every other day, and I eat like sandwiches, and. You know, other 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 stuff like especially coke zeros oh yeah yeah but are you missing those uh i think i'm okay with like you know energy drinks and striking waters they fill the void with uh, the fizzy stuff it's been a long time you like the fizzy thing I love fizz. fair enough fair enough and so the poke bowls but you know when you look we we did some measurements on you with just one week on the diet and we you saw he had lost like a pound and a half of fat right and your mom mentioned to you like she noticed yeah she took a picture of like me a month ago and i had like a bigger big face yeah so uh, i guess i don't really look at myself or notice it because you know i'm in the process of it yeah so yeah how serious are you about achieving you know our goal what do, what do, what do we get you that you need to burn how many pounds of fat is it 15 is it 20 to get fit when we calculated what was it do you remember i believe it was like 15? Is it 15 or 30? I don't know, I forget. Man, I forgot it. Okay, so let's just say this. Let's say, you know, how serious are you about, like, do you want that? Like, obviously everybody, oh, I want to be in better shape. Like, yeah, okay, you want to be in better shape, but like, how much do you want to be in better shape? Well, I've been fat most of my life. I've been... I didn't know that, by the way. I don't think I knew that. Really? That you've been fat most of your life. I didn't know that you had saw that about yourself. Uh, ever since I was like in middle school, yeah. Okay. I've been overweight, and I just kind of like didn't care at the time. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm getting older, I'm noticing like I want to be fit at least, you know, to live a little more, a little bit longer mm -hmm. than than uh, mostly would. Especially looking at my family, my family has a bunch of you know diseases and heart stuff. Like I don't want to deal with that. Right. So. Okay, and that's one of the reasons we connected because I said that my dad passed away diabetically and diabetic complications and life's kind of a bitch in that respect, right? Like the people you love can sometimes pass away because they didn't take care of themselves. It's kind of sad, but it's 100% sad. Um, you know, the Superior, the Superior Man Project is some, what do, what do you recall about me telling you about the Superior Man Project? Because I said that it was a, it was kind of a lengthy explanation because this is a, it's like it's not just getting sh in shape. There's more to it, right? There was like five principles you were talking about. I remember. Okay, what well, there's like the body, the mind, um, relationships, and meditation. Yeah, and then the last one. Something like that. Well, I think it, so. There was four, I think, if we're counting it correctly. Okay. But, <laughs> but, but that's what I was like. Maybe there was five. You know, like, um, what you? What was your first impression when I? said okay look because we met at the front desk and you were thinking about getting a trainer and I said okay look I've been working on something that I think is 
the culmination of my life's work as a coach, right? Um, what do you recall about me telling you about the Spring Man Project? What do you recall about it? Like that day, I know there's principles, but that day, what did you, you know, what did you feel I was telling you it was about? Well, I feel like it was a little bit more than just losing weight. It was more, you know, like how to be a better person mm -hmm. in, in all, all sense of being. Um, like nowadays, it's kind of rare to find some, you know, men that are, you know, uh, I don't want to sound rude, like superior. I just mean like some people that are able to portray themselves as, like, what's the word to say this? Like dependable. Dependable is a good. That's not. That's not controversial. No, I'm not saying it's. Con I'm saying like, you know, so, some guys they could care less, but I want to be the kind of guy that can be counted on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, I mean, that makes complete sense. Um, the project or this, like, as far as I've seen, being a better man, like, when I, when I told you, like, hey, look, I, about 10 years ago, there was this inner work that I started doing. Um, one of the books that, at that time, was The Superior Man, The Way of the Superior Man. And as I thought, what do I name this project? It was kind of like a full circle thing saying kind of seeing like it's this energy of this saying like this these standards is is of these disciplines at the end when i got into dieting and bodybuilding and i dug deeper into that i saw this correlation of like depth and inner focus and like darkness and just stuff that in order to truly achieve something you couldn't really listen to people around you because the people around you themselves were not willing to go there to achieve what they wanted. So it's almost like if you look to others to validate greatness, you're not gonna find it because greatness is not something that, it, it doesn't take people in large groups. Like it doesn't recruit people in large groups. It's sort of like a select few step up to the plate and of those select few, a few go up and it's, oh, those, and it keeps, it keeps like winding down to where like you're a small percentage and then there in that very small percentage that's where you sort of stand out um so that that's the project of that what that, that's like the vision of that and um you know i really enjoy dieting and all the aspects and the meditation and the writing over the course of like several years but more importantly how are you how are you, because we have a lot to unpackage still, we still gotta go into, I gotta show you what the stack is and stuff like that, I remember yeah, I told you what that is. Talk about it. Yeah, and you just finished the book Winning. Mm -hmm. um, what, what do you think about the book Winning and how it correlates to your current program? Let's see, it's been quite a bit since I finished it. Yeah, it's um, fine, just some, it comes to mind, it doesn't, you know. I felt it was a very personal book, but also I was able to learn some stuff from uh, Mr. Hoover, right? Grover. Grover, sorry. You're fine. Um, how he was very dedicated to trying to accomplish his goals. Like he was very, like I'm not gonna do what my parents wanted me to do, I wanna do my own thing, kinesiology, working with professionals. And he was set out that goal and he was able to achieve it by, you know, um, it was, Michael Jordan, right? That was the first one that he... That was his first big client. His first big client. So Michael Jordan helped him out. He helped Michael out. He was able to learn from Michael how he wanted winning above everything else. He was willing to, like, not... I don't want to say belittle his fellow teammates at all, but kind of push them to his standards. So he was able to learn from that, and that was pretty inspiring because I'm not really much of a basketball guy. I'm not really much of a sports mm -hmm. guy at all. Mm -hmm. But... Seeing that other people are willing to go that way just to achieve their goals, I kind of want to try that. Like, I want to do that too. Yeah. Like, in other words, it's an invitation to go deep within yourself. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, that's definitely a big part of the program. Um, what about writing? I mean, that's one aspect we haven't gone into. Writing is part of this, journaling, um, reading books every day, like, even if it's five, ten minutes of writing. What have you experienced in the writing now? Well, some days I'm at, you know, I work full time. So, sure. And uh, 
people I work with, some of them are not very fun to work with. Mm -hmm. So they kind of like are my fuel to you know, my dark my darker side too. Like they tell you stuff, trigger you. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like what's what's an example of if you don't mind sharing, if you mind sharing, I, we didn't prepare for this. This is very trans. Uh, like what's what's a, what, what's one thing that I get? Oh yeah, that would trigger me too. Like uh, they well, I feel like I'm a decently average intellect. Yeah. But they always belittle me on my on like uh, call me. I won't say it out loud, but stupid and idiot. Oh, like that kind of stuff. Yeah, that kind of stuff. And is it meant like ah, stupid, or is it like no? Nah, I want to. No, it's it's pretty belittling. And, okay. And uh, weight and other stuff that I, I don't really want to get into. Yeah. But yeah, that that kind of stuff it does trigger me a bit, and I mean. Like, it's, it's it's interesting how it can be used as fuel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like it's interesting, like. My dad passed away. It's fuel to me. And sometimes when it's like, dude, and then the realness of it is sometimes it's like, dude, and then sometimes I'm like, even this morning I wake up, I'm like, dad, I'm sorry. And it's just like, my daddy, where is he? He's listening. I don't know. I'm like, dad, I'm sorry, like for any mistake I've done or where I've let you down. Or it seemed it, again, it could seem trivial, but it's like I feel like it's like, but you know, it's that desire to want to keep improving, and sometimes. In, as the world gets complex, whether it's political stress or whether economic stress or uh, personal stress in your personal relationships or you yourself, you know, it sometimes takes that pain or that like wound to dig deep and just say, fuck everything else. Because I think when you're wounded, like when someone, when you're fucking hurt, like you're like, dude, I'm fucking hurt. I think in that in those moments everything falls away and you're like, fuck all that. I'm not gonna let this shit defeat me. I, does that make some sense? Yeah. Like it's almost like like that all the other complaints, you're just like, nah, bro. Nah. You get me? Like you're just like it, all it, bets are off it, and you're it, just it like makes you wanna prove them wrong. Or even just prove yourself it's a combination like that, or prove people prove prove your worthiness in this yes. life or something. Yeah. Like you're just like, nah, bro, I ain't worried. Like to what? Who's who's even paying attention? Nobody. But it's like, I don't know. I'll fucking know. Yeah. You, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. And that and 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 it's like, I think like, so so, I think that when when this program is being put together, it's like taking all of my personal work and and, and the writing, and it's like, I think when some, it, I think what separates those that are successful in in dieting and in training, it's like. And we were, I remember when you told me that sometimes I can get pretty dark thoughts. I remember I was like, good. And you were like, you kind of were like taking it back. Like, what? Yeah. And it is like, because of the reality, it is that as you dig deeper into a diet, and you dig deeper into like the, the cardio, and you're just like, dude, I just do not want to do this today. I was like, so is this where you quit? Is this where you're at? You know, all that work. And, he, and he, it's like, well, this is, and they're like, well, what do you mean? Well, this is where other people quit. This is where, this is where they bounce. Do you get me? Like it's it's that moment where it's like life just pushes you right there to the edge where you're just like, once again, is this where you fold? And I think that that in those moments, writing, books, meditation, like to be clearly enough to go like, nah, like I'm just tripping, I'm tripping, dude. Like, and I think that, the, that you could say, nah, that's not it. I was like, that's the game, bro. Like sometimes it's your own mind defeating you in your own mind that's going to be like and, and I, like I say well, let's say you're going to get in shape you'll be fit and you're like that's what I want it's like, and then even then what's the, that you're going to find like that next stage is like your mind's messing with you your mind's messing with you like for me just to kind of bring this into like a meta situation you're like for me it's not getting in shape because I've been in shape and I'm in shape and it's like, okay now it's like okay We'll get back in better shape again, okay, yeah. But even more importantly, like for me, my win is helping you get in shape and bringing you to another level and then helping others because that's my win now. And in order for, so you could say, well, what, Jacob, it's not. It's like, well, yeah, but if you don't get in shape, I fail. I hope that makes some sense. So my, like he had said before, my one is your one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I fail. Okay. Do you understand? 
like this is a two man team kind of thing. It, it's hundred percent what it is. It always has been, but it's just like now we're making it. So the content okay. is like a type of it, it. It's 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 both like this. It's a it's a spiritual process where it's like like bro, I, I don't even know like who's gonna watch this, but it, it's it's more like to move into that next step like how do you scale it's like well i know i can help people i know we're gonna get you there so it's i'm already preparing for the next level how do, how do, you can't how, how does that look like i don't know but i just know this has to happen well how where's the manual i don't know i just know it i just know that this has to happen to get there well jacob no one's gonna watch it doesn't matter bro i know this video has to be made to get there as, as, as what I'm saying, like it's weird. It's it's like, but I think I think that's where that's where people quit, where they don't, where they like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do, I don't know. And it's like, but do you know what to do next? Deepen yourself. Do you know what to do next? Yeah, okay, then do that. Like, and, and sometimes it's like, well, shit, is that simple? It's like, motherfucker, that's why people quit because they didn't do that next one. They didn't do that next thing. Uh, but the Superior Man Project, the book that we got. You asked me what book to read next. I said The Superior Man. So these are the two books that I wanted to start the program with. Mm -hmm. Did you start This is the Way of the Superior Man? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> well, what do you, so we'll touch a little bit about that and we'll close up this video. Mm -hmm. It'll be kind of a good, um, The Superior Man, The Way of the Superior Man, it opens up. So one of my promises to you is that this project is about, yes, getting you in fitness shape, which is your body, being, which is the aspect of the spiritual, balance, which is relationships and business, meaning your career improvement. Like there's gonna come a time where you're in better shape and these guys aren't gonna have something to say and you're gonna have a certain vibrational state and you'll be reading and writing, your mind's elevated and you're in a higher intellectual state. They're gonna feel stupid calling you stupid. You understand? And that's your career. So then that's gonna start shifting things in your career. But you see, that wasn't necessarily what you started, but one thing led to another and they start connecting. This concept of, they start, inter, inter, they're synergized. And then so in that process, then you start s sensing your power. And then once you uncover your power, now you're like, so I have this. It's like, yes, you do. So then the only guy that can stop you from not accessing that power is you. So then it's a question of are you accessing it or not? You see what I'm saying? Like the wealth is already there. Your wealth is already within you. It's all about your willpower. It's the willpower and the connection to it. And it's like, it, it's, but it's, oh, remember, it's, it's, it remember, it's like, they're always there, body, it's always been there. You already have it all. Those elements are already there. The question is, have you, are you connecting to them so that they connect to you and give back? And that relationship that you, that, that dance with them, that's you. That's, who the fuck you are uh, but that's like so the way superior man it goes into like masculine and feminine and how like basically like it, it's kind of a relationship book but in many ways in today's society they say the, the superior man project in today's society we we're sort of taught that you know masculinity isn't needed or to be a leader as a man isn't needed. But that would be like saying that nurturing as a woman is not needed. Well, the second you say that, that is stupid on its face. Like, it's like, of course women are needed because they need to nurture and they're loving and they have babies and they're women, right? By that same token, a man's leadership and their, his masculine energy is needed to protect the nurturing and to lead. And neither one can be replaced. But in today's society, we're sort of brainwashed on large scales to sort of give up being men. And some men literally transition into being women because they gave up. So this this project is very, even though it's, what's it, okay? Uh, spectrum. Okay. Spectrum. Yeah, in, in any way, to close up, I think that the reason this project is very dear to, to myself and hopefully in time you'll see the because like I said, you sat, you, we sat down originally to talk about getting in shape. And I said, okay, that, that's gonna get done, right? But I think the reason it's such a, a personal endeavor is that it, to me, and, and I think to men, their biggest pain comes from not feeling validated as a man. 
and that's the masculine core. The masculine core, it despises disrespect. It despises not being valued as a man. And, and until we ourselves as men awaken to that and respect it within ourselves and, and protect it, then why should others honor it? And even when you honor it, people are still gonna test it. But then the, I like that book because it goes into like, that's kind of like what, that's kind of like what society does is it tests that energy. And then when you kind of take a step back and reflect on that, it's like, well then does that mean that every test I've ever uh, faced in a way is a test of masculinity? It's like, yeah, in a way it is. And like, whether it's women, whether it's the diet, it's always testing that masculine core, that, that integrity, that alignment. And so, um, again, these things, like, I think that, again, most people that talk to a trainer, they're gonna want the like, Just the give me the diet. It's like, well, bro, you can't handle a diet because you're not connected to like yourself. That's why people fail on a diet because like you have no connection to your power. So the second something comes around like a donut, you're like, oh, it defeated me. Really, a donut defeated you? <laughs> you get me? Like that's it. That's all it took. You're done. Yeah. And so, so there was never a there was never like a a moment where that person knew like on some level this is a battle. This is a war between what you say you want and what you'll achieve, and and that takes a certain level of ferocity and, and aggression and, and commitment and like complete power. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, now that that's kind of like where we're headed or sort of the book and like that energy. What do you think about this? Cause you're, you've gotten results. You, you're seeing it. You're hearing this now. So what's your thoughts before we close up on kind of this stuff? Well, I mean, I want to see where this goes. I want to get better. I want to get better mentally. Mm -hmm. you know, like I said, with my darker stuff, I want to fix that. I want to be able to harness that and not just, you know, not just for working out, but also just to be better yeah like uh like say a little quarrel comes around with uh like a coworker or something i want to be able to just find a way to fix that instead of like exploding or like something else like I want to be smart about that. yeah right on man looking forward to your growth all right this is caleb de la cerda i'm jacob adams we'll see you on the next one i'm uh, looking forward to your success